up everybody? Today I'll be teaching y'all how to curve a ball with power. Um, this is a lot different from curving it regularly because this um, requires a very explosive motion and if you do not, um, I get, where really the only word would be explode, your follow through, once you connect with the ball you're not going to be able to do this. So it takes a lot of power and uh, strength to do this. So. If you're a young kid, it's probably going to be very difficult for you, but it won't hurt trying. Your run-up should be when you line up with your target, three to four steps back, and then you take three to four steps to your left if you are a right footer, and three to four steps to the right if you are a left footer. First thing I'd like to talk about is what part of the ball and foot you hit with. So let's start with what part of your foot you strike with. Alright, so you're going to strike it with that part of your foot, about right here. Um, and uh, you want to strike this part of the ball. Now those are going to be your point of connections. Whenever you do meet those two points together, which, are, which is probably one of the most important parts of the shot, your follow through is going to want to be very short, very short in and around the ball, you come around the ball, you want to make this follow through very short and, and explosive. I'm going to show you an example right now. Now you saw my uh, follow through was very, very quick. It wasn't, usually when you curve the ball, you're coming around like that. This one is just boom, like that. But that was too long. Uh, uh, you want it very short, you want it very quick. Quick, 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 quick as you can. That's how you're going to get a uh, swerve on the ball. Unfortunately, with this shot, you're not going to get very much swerve on the ball. It's just how it is. Um, and if it's, don't be discouraged if you don't get a lot of curve because the only thing, the good part about this shot is if you want to just put it, it's, it's going to have enough power to curve in just a little bit out of the reach of the keeper. So it's going to be like that coming curling just out of its reach, which is, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most difficult shots for a keeper to, uh, to defend because, I mean, it's curving with power. I mean, curve always causes, pro causes problems, but when you uh, add power to it, it's just a huge problem for the goalie, um, especially if you can place this. Some common mistakes that happen with a shot is the ball has top spin. Now, what that, the problem with that is coming from your follow through. I'm going to show you an example of back to back situations where I had top spin on the ball, then I immediately corrected my follow through and then hit it the correct technique. Notice how on this shot my follow through is more of an upward motion instead of a following around my body. I'll show it one more time in slow motion. See how my foot comes more of an upward motion rather than across my body where I immediately corrected right here and I, in result, created the curl. It's going to be, it's going to take a lot of practice to um, get this accuracy down, but once you do, I promise you this will be one of your most useful shots that you've ever had in your repertoire. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment or message me. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, a rate would really, I'd really appreciate it if you all just took one second to leave a rating if you liked it or not. And um, if you all have any questions, please ask. Thank you for watching.